work. I gotta, I gotta duck down here to make sure I'm, we're, we're in the same frame. But yeah, we're, we're having the hardest time finding the freaking metro system. Babe, I think, I think that I just found out something that's really kind of hilarious. What? Well, remember when you asked the dude where the subway was? Yeah. Well, you passed it? No, I mean, I typed, I typed subway in just to see if it would come up like a whatever. There's a food, the subway place. Oh my That's god. That's like 400 feet. <laughs> no, I mean, like, oh my god. See, Kata, you got any messages for the real M14? I just don't understand where you are. You keep saying you're here and there, and you're already here before us, but now you're not. So it's like confusing, but um, it's okay. <laughs> you're mad late, bro. Thanks for showing up one time. Nah, I'm just messing with you. Not a big deal. Um, let me see when you pull up. And hopefully I'll get your reaction when you first see me. He's on the move. He's hunting. Dun 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 <laughs> What's good my nigga? Yo, why? I thought I saw you and Mikado going that way. Not a chance, bro. We was waiting on you. I jumped out the Nice to finally see you, man. Yo, facts, man. Yo, how you doing, Mikado? Hello, nice to meet you. Yo, this shit is crazy, bro. <laughs> so Anything you want to say to the Shinobis? Um, what's going on, fellow Shinobis? Subscribe to his channel. Oh, y'all niggas whack. Straight up. If you don't subscribe. You gonna show us around? You gonna show us around? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we take good care of us. What's this guy? Who's this guy? This is my boy, D. Nice to meet you, man. Say what's up to the Shinobis, man. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up? What's up? It's your boy, you know what I'm saying? Dwayne, friend of the 14 mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Hopefully, yeah. you, uh, we'll show you a good time. You can uh, enjoy Coney Island. Definitely. So, actually, depending on what time y'all leave, y'all might be able to see the fireworks. Yeah, we're, we're staying for the fireworks uh, tonight. Um, Desmond, uh, Desmond at, the, at the memorial for Desmond, um, the fireworks are going to be going off at 9 o'clock. So, hopefully, we're going to link up with the Joy-Con boys and whatnot. And watch the fireworks in memory of Desmond. Let's be lit. The greatest hot dog right now. One of Attica's favorite hot dog places. We're gonna go check it out. This is the Crazy line. Yeah, but it's not really, I don't really come here like that. I don't know if it, this is a, a famous hot dog, you know, place, but it's like, I don't really like to eat hot dogs. We actually never eat hot dogs. Only for Attica. Yeah. Honestly, my spot is across the street. This is pizza place. I love pizza. You want pizza? Yeah. You wanna go? You wanna eat pizza? I'll get a hot dog and you can get pizza if you want. We'll share the hot dogs. I don't wanna eat a pizza right now though. I feel like it's gonna make me extra hot. Okay. <laughs> You're looking at me and not the camera. Well, because you are what's important. Right okay, now. fine, fine. Coney Island like is decent, decent-ish like size compared to like the average amusement park. See, I'm used to King's Dominion, and you know, like with King's Dominion, it's it's decent size, but this is like huge. This is like it a whole city of a uh, of, of, of amusement park of a city. Like you it know, seems huge, but the the truth is, it's really not as many rides as you think there are. Like most of the stuff is like sit for sale or whatnot. Doing a little thing with the gun to shoot the balloon and yeah. tell you there's a lot of that. Right oh there. shit, there's a beach up in yo a beach right there. I told y'all I wasn't kidding. I told y'all I wasn't kidding. Oh right I'm trying to move to New York. This joke crazy. Guys, this is where the memorial for Desmond is gonna be at. Parachute. We'll be meeting up with everybody tonight, 7 p.m. For now, we're gonna sit down and eat these hot dogs. Bees. These hot dogs and these fries we got. You them. actually got your own hot dog. For free. By this really nice oh, yeah. guy, randomly. The dude just randomly just gave her a free coupon, a coupon yeah. to get a free hot I'm dog. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mikado, you're gonna do the honors. Dun, dun, dun. Take the first bite. Oh, sorry. Do not spill it. I'm not trying to. 
The ultimate hot dogs that Etika likes. <laughs> yeah. How is it? Let me see why he good. likes it. <laughs> it's good? Yeah. It's apparently this is world famous. I feel weird though. I haven't eaten like pork hot dogs in a long time. Is this pork or is this beef? He said oh, he thinks there might be beef. This is beef actually. Yeah, yeah right. good. I'm glad it's beef and not okay. pork. Yeah. Thanks. Alright, it's my turn now. Look, my relish. Alright, here we go. We're gonna test this out. Come on, man. Come me some respect. So I gotta say, these hot dogs, pretty good. I, although I have not had a hot dog in probably like four or five years, it's pretty good. I, I'm enjoying it. I can see why Etika likes it, just like she said. But definitely not a not a big fan of pork or beef. But I guess I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna just gonna finish this up and enjoy this. Oh, we gotta try the fries. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is Amiibo, guys. I got this Sonic the Hedgehog Amiibo, and I remember around the time when Amiibos first came out, you know, to get, like, I got a Link Amiibo, there was a lot of those, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find a Sonic Amiibo, and I'm a huge Sonic the Hedgehog and the Legend of Zelda fan. If so, you guys don't know that, you gotta check his channel out. You would know that, though, if you watch my boy's channel, so go check his channel out, hit the subscribe button on his channel, hit the subscribe on my channel if you haven't already, thumbs up as well. Yeah, so, what I also couldn't find in stores when it first came out was a GameCube adapter, put mm. the, you know, to play um, Smash with a GameCube controller, so... Like a couple months went by and I, I went to this GameStop and they had Sonic Amiibos and the GameCube adapter. Wow. And I did a video on my channel of me like unboxing everything and, and showing it off. And I was just so happy to finally, you know, get my hands on my boy Sonic. Right. And I'm gonna give this to um I'm gonna give this as a tribute to Etika because he also loves Sonic the Hedgehog, you know. We both um, big Sonic fans, so this is for you, bro. It's for you, Attica. And for those of you that don't know, Attica got his name from Sonic uh, Battle on the Game Boy Advance. You can put in uh, these codes or whatever on Sonic Battle, and there was one that is uh, that is Akita. You put in Akita, so he took the T and the K and reversed them around, and he said he liked it because it sounded much better. Um, I want to thank Christine and everyone for retweeting that so I, I could find out and uh, everybody for letting me know. But now I'm letting you know and I'm passing the message along to you guys so you guys know as well. Let's get another shot of that uh, Amiibo. You gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> Some of our fries were extremely burnt, weird looking. Gonna take a good old trip to the hood. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Navigate through the hood to get some candles for Etika. Yeah, I don't know my way, so they're gonna have to show me around. Otherwise, I might get to scrapping with a couple niggas out here and whatnot. But yeah, you can show me around though. Make sure we safe and whatnot, right? Both y'all got me, right? Y'all got me and Mikado, right? We're gonna be safe. We ain't gonna die, right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. <laughs> we got, got to grab some candles for Etika right quick. From this corner store and whatnot. Just wanted to show you guys. I always wondered, I always wondered what it would be like to walk under one of these things. And today we finally got to do it. I don't know, I definitely gotta take another trip out to New York on a, on a positive note, you know? And that's hopefully uh, what I'm expecting to have happen sometime in the future before I leave out to um, to California and move across the country and start my RV trip. Hopefully sometime later this year, I'll be able to come out here or at least during the summer because just being here for one day does not do it justice. So tomorrow the plan is uh, we have to leave at 3 p.m. and we're gonna head over to uh, New York uh, Times Square and get some footage of that and whatnot. And uh, then at three o'clock we gotta leave. So. Well, I don't know if I even said that correctly just now. If I did it, I'm just gonna say it again. 3 p.m., we're gonna be at New York Times Square. Or no, we're gonna go home 3 p.m., so before then, we're gonna New York Times Square. So I'll be vlogging that for you guys as well.
First New York pizza slice coming from Pizza on the Run. Me and Kato got a slice. The homies got some slices. He got he got the beef patty. Yeah. I'm gonna fold it in half, New York style, and crush it. Yeah. Back under this underpass again I was showing y'all earlier. Headed to the memorial. Alright, so we're here with Christine and all the Joy-Con boys that came out to show their support. Showing their love and whatnot for Etika. Got cards and stuff. We got them some candles. Oh, what happened to lighting them? I didn't light it yet. You wanna hold this for a second while yes. I light it? You should have got like another one. Now, right? Put your hand around I don't know what that's about. Yeah. Alright, if we can make a circle, then we can put the uh, candles in the middle of everybody. Joy-Con boys are real, man. Don't ever sleep on the Joy-Con boys. On the count of three, we love you, Etika. One, two, Three, we love you, Etika! Joy Con boys! 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 Oh man, you can't miss it. Anything else you'd like to say? Joy Con guys. Subscribers came and like, um, spammed your chat and then you came and checked out my live stream and we live streamed each other's live streams within the stream. It was like the craziest it was, moment. It was, it was so funny. And it was amazing. So I just want to say thank you for that. And uh, my favorite moment um, of yours was definitely the Mewtwo moment. I mean, that's the classic. <laughs> Everybody loves that moment. But I also like when you browse the dark web and stuff. And I just want to say thank you for reaching out to so many people and touching our hearts. Touching my heart and helping me to break through my depression. Rest in power, Etika. Rest in power, Etika. That's right. That's right. Okay, who's next? Okay. Yeah, you go. Okay. Hey, Etika. Dion. Exo. Um, you know, one of the, the craziest things I always tell people is, uh, Time it was you, me, you go over here, uh, Rose, and you know, we were playing Dark Souls, and every time one of us died, it was take a shot and chase it. So we took <laughs> a shot of fireball and we chased it with some moonshine. Oh and, man, <laughs> can I just say, yo, we were so fucked up to the point where like we got on the train and I put my head down. And yo, I know you remember this, and you remember this, because you looking away. Um, <laughs> you and Rose started talking, and I just threw up a whole fucking ocean in the train. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then we got to the, the club, and it, you and me, we started partying, people were around us, and some dude bought us more drinks. So, and it was just, we were so fucked up after that, man. I, it, it's hard. But I love you, and you know you'll always be there.
My name is M14. I want to say rest in peace to Etika. And it's crazy because both me and him, we built our channels up for the same thing. So, this right here. And I want you to... By the way, I forgot to mention, my name is Ka Ninja, by the way, in case anyone... <laughs> oh yeah, he's also live streaming. You're right. No, I'm not live streaming right now. I'm just... I'm, oh, yeah, because my internet's bad. Oh, yeah, I'm from VA, so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you have to say? Or? Okay. Um, even though he would talk shit later on, he was like, oh, Sonic Boom sucks. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, that literally shaped his childhood, so we always had his deep appreciation for it, so I'll keep this safe. Um, anyone else want to say anything on the Anybody else want to say something, um, something else to Desmond? Best memory? Oh, yeah, we Okay. Please, yourself. Hey, I'm Bali. Dark Red to the Sun, because I used to be known. Um, Desmond or Etika was a very kind-hearted and upbeat person, and meeting him on the train by accident was one of the greatest moments of my life. I remember running into him and going ballistic. I, I challenged him to smash, never got that match, but I mean, hey. And all my friends were jealous. They were like, oh, you met Etika. You, got to meet a legend and I mean they were right I never got to pop my donation cherry to you so that, that sucks but I mean sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches and I wish that I could have at least said a couple more words before you left he's hearing them right now yeah and I'll tell you the truth I've been holding my tears back for the entire time. I, I don't know how hard it is for everyone else, but I know somewhere out there, you're always in our hearts. So, rest in peace, Etika. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Stay strong. Okay. Anybody else want to share their greatest memories with or of Etika? It can be a stream, it can be a photo, it could be anything. Okay. Well, Ryan wrote a letter, so I'm gonna read it. Ryan, where are you? Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, you have a coin. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. You fucking love Punk Island, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna read it. Ryan says, "Hello, Etika. Thank you for being here. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Sure. Joy-Con gods. Joy How about that? Joy-Con boys or Joy-Con gods? Which one do y'all think? Joy-Con gods. Alright, fine. 
Bubble it. Just make half of it a square, half of it a circle. such a great message. I gotta draw this. The switch. Okay, it's not gonna be perfect, but you know. I mean, I could, but I'm not gonna... Right, we need space. We need, we're gonna need space for everyone to sign. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. Yeah, you did. Anybody else want to come sign? Yeah. Of course. Come on, guys. By the way, I think that everybody should go ahead and grab their bags now. Make sure you keep your eyes on your stuff. You know, people at the other memorials were stealing stuff, so just, I think you should grab your bags now. Gotta come get your bag. Anybody got a lighter we can light this, these two back up with? All right, sure. I got it. I, I wanted to finesse it, but it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so 
you leave the biggest amount of space for Christine to sign her name? Let her put like just a giant signature on it, you know? Anybody left that didn't sign? Anybody else? Anybody else that didn't sign? Sign your name. Is there anybody else that didn't sign? Everybody? Else? I think that's everyone. I think everybody signed. Yeah. Left you that huge space. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Someone said put the Smash logo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they want you to put the Joy-Cons with the Smash logo. What? That's awesome. Yay! Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> um, they said they said in the chat, write the rules as well. Just do it after you're done. <laughs> Just do it after you're done. What's the chat rules? <laughs> no, the rules, you know, no bitch niggas, no snitch niggas, no fake switch niggas, no twitch niggas. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> And they said, if there's space at the top, we should write in quotes, not a news channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This is not, if I sign my name, it's not going to be aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> it's not about that. Uh, they said, uh, not a news channel in quotes at the top. <laughs> if only we could hijack this, uh, this ride's music and play his mixtapes. Oh, yeah. That would be lit. No Bluetooth speaker? No one got? Oh. I, I think I have a Bluetooth speaker in my backpack. Oh, okay. Um, let's ask the chat. They haven't gotten much interaction. Guys, uh, Christine says, where should she put the slogan? No bitch niggas, no snitch niggas, no fake, twi no fake switch niggas, and no twitch niggas. In the middle? Here? What do you guys What do you guys think in the chat? Maybe here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. On top of here in the stage. It's just the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right east courts. <laughs> oh, east. <laughs> they said in the middle, yeah. Everybody yeah, in the chat saying they're saying it all on the same in the middle. Yeah, they're saying the middle. Some said the top, but the mainly the middle. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that handwriting is great. That's actually that's no that's good that's that's really yeah, good yeah. Really nice. They're wondering how many people are here. It's a lot of us. We're here representing for you guys. We know you couldn't be here. So we all came out. And I didn't show myself, but I'm filming for you guys. Someone says they're coming. I think we're gonna be here for a while. The uh, fireworks. I think they start sometimes. What time? At nine. At nine. At nine. Yeah. Nine thirty. It's not very aesthetic, but you know, it's fine. Well, you did a good job, Christine. <laughs> Joy-Con looks like. <laughs> you know what a Joy-Con looks like. Know. 
like a but it's a rectangle thing. though, so it's not really gonna work too well. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. Try it? No. I don't want to really ruin it. I don't want to ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. Wakanda forever. Hey, hey. Anybody new here that wants to sign? Come on, bro. Come on, you want to sign? Oh, Talk a bit louder. Look at her. Look at her camera. Sorry. No, I I watch them. I just, oh, I just like, I get yeah. such a feeling of oh, happiness when yeah. I'm yeah. watching my sister yeah. watch him, uh, everything, and just knowing that he's gone now, and knowing that he's in a better place. I know that he's happy, and I love him so, so right. much. Yeah. I care about him so much. He was like a family. I must have just posted like, like uh, JoJo and Any? Do you want to say any words? I don't know what to say to you, honestly. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, like I remember back in uh, my first met him, like back in 2017 at PAX East. Man, the first thing I first thing I saw was like, yo, this dude is tall, a lot taller than. <laughs> yeah. Him, but, yeah, when I met him, like he was real cool, real nice, you know. Treating me like you know, like a normal person, you know, like you know how some people be when they're celebrities and shit. Yeah, it just just gets your head. But yeah, he was cool. And everybody else around him, like they were also excited to meet him. Yeah, it was it was one of the best. I like, also met him like 2018 as well. Yes, yeah, I miss him though. I saw because I remember like seeing him on YouTube like before all that. He's awesome. Uh, I, 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 I still can't believe it. Um, hey, Erica. I remember just meeting you randomly in a South Oldham Park. Like, you stuck out like a sore thumb, just a bunch of small guys, and then, like, you see this tall dude outside yeah. uh, the train station. Like, it's impossible to miss. Yeah. And our, I mean, I don't know. Things were just pretty down back then, but seeing you just lifted me up and a bunch of my friends up, and watching you for almost six years now since Pokemon Black and White days, that was. I don't know, you've changed my life for a while and it feels good to be here. Yeah. With everyone. Christine, don't forget. I will, I will, I will forget. Yeah, I remember when you were going to say that again. Uh, smash. <laughs> I remember when he was reacting to Smash Ultimate. He pretty, I pretty much felt the same way when he announced it. I was like, yo, are you serious? He announced it like that? It's awesome, you know? I still can't believe he's gone, to be honest. I missed him. Why? No. I hope, I hope he's resting peacefully. He's resting in power right now. Power, yes, exactly. Resting power. in power. He's with the water and all of them. All right, after everybody's done signing, we'll get some more chats going on. Yeah, I already uh, signed. Hey, anybody else need to sign? Hi, it's Mariah. Anybody else need to sign? This party with you. Real life for the party. Yeah. Real life for the con. You were yeah. like life everywhere, jumping around, yeah. excited, running around, excited, yeah. like grabbing everybody to be excited and just to party and be happy all the time. I literally want to be happy all the time. I hope you keep that same happiness wherever you are right now. Definitely. 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 Hey, they made that party last year, but we'll live, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Do you like Twizzlers? They don't eat that shit. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, someone take this. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of things he finds under my bed, there was another time where um, <laughs> we went to Nathan's, right? To yeah. eat. And he had, he really liked Sonic at the time still, so we had chili cheese fries, you know, and a, a, a chili dog, right? That, that's what Sonic likes, right? Yeah, I think. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but anyways, it was like hours later, and at the, when we got home, we wanted a snack, and um, I guess I had a bag of that, you know, the, the cheap ass cinnamon toast crunch, the, the, the value version, not the actual one. Like the cheap one? Yeah, yeah, the one in the bag, yeah. and I had rolled it up, and I guess I lost it, it was under my bed. Okay, don't, don't judge me, all right? <laughs> And then he, well, the thing, he found it, and, and I guess he didn't know that I found it under my bed. He was just eating on it, like whatever. Like, oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> so, so like, 
like, and then like hours later, he just starts throwing up. Oh. He's food poisoning. Oh. But, but he's so convinced he got it from the toast crunch and not from that nasty ass Nathan. I'm just like, you don't get food poisoning in two seconds. It takes a couple hours. Yeah. So it could be anything. But <laughs> you didn't tell him? Oh my god. I told him like, I told him like, a, like maybe an hour later. I was, I was like, I'm looking at him like, oh, you know, I found that, right? He's like. What? Oh, and then during that same, like during the morning, he was like, he was throwing up all night. I felt so bad for him. I was like cleaning up after him. He would just get up, throw up on the floor, and then uh, he's, we slept on the same bed, the tiny ass, like full size bed. Don't ask how we fit, but we fit. <laughs> I would just look over it, get a towel, and just like, just, you know, just kind of do that. And then go back to sleep. Damn. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh, wow. Holy and then crap. My yeah. brother, my brother walked in at like 7 a.m. He didn't know what the fuck was going on. And he was like, hey guys. And Devin had walked up already. And he threw up right in front of his feet. <laughs> and then he went back to Careful. bed. He went back he, and then he just walked right back to bed. And then I had gone up and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, again. <laughs> and I just threw the towel there and just kind of done this. And went back to bed. And my brother was shocked. He was like, what just happened? Is he okay? <laughs> and I'm like, he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> so yeah, he's a... Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I, I still think it's a Nathan. He, even like to this day, I'm sure right now he's saying like, you did that. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, whatever. So whatever. I'm sure it's not preservatives. It couldn't have possibly exactly. been cereal. Exactly. There were preservatives in the cheap cereal. That's meant to last a very long time. <laughs> I'm sure it was crunchy and delicious. <laughs> not stale. Not stale like the Twizzler. No, no. Oh my gosh, should I open these? No, wait. But they don't, yeah. You guys want to do a moment of silence for him? 30 seconds or something? Okay, yeah. Alright guys, we're going to do 30 seconds of silence for Desmond. Everybody good with that? Anyone counting? I'm counting right now. Alright, we can go ahead and start. Start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, this is the worst. What the fuck? <laughs> did you hear the lyrics to that? What? Oh. What happened? What did it say? Sinking, drowning. <laughs> what the fuck? I just, I just, oh I my god. I didn't want to say anything. Yo, I mean, my heart is pounding so fast right now. Yeah, yeah I, I believe that. <laughs> Dude, during the moment of during silence he had, did you guys hear that? Yeah. <laughs> the lyrics in the song said sinking, sinking oh it said sinking, drowning. Yeah. 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 I cannot believe that. We all heard it. Okay. Attica is here right now. Yes. Fuck the moment of silence. Joy yes. Con boys! Joy 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 Con boys! To Attica, everyone. I see God still. Who we praising Jesus? Joy Con God. It was a God to some of us. So I don't know if this is like it's, yeah. How can I? <laughs> yeah, he he, he yeah. knows what's going on. He yeah. literally was about to make me snap on him. I was about to snap. Did you sign it? I did. Okay. Basically. Come up and get some photos with Christine. Sure. Okay. Ask her. Make sure she's cool with that. Christine, uh, is it cool if everybody gets photos with you? Okay. Oh, by all means. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> or maybe we get everybody on the steps and then have her pose in the front. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> hey, everybody, want to go up on the steps? So then Christine can come in front of us and pose. Yeah, let's do it. And maybe the shorter people at the front so they can be seen. 
I'm going down here. All right, everybody want to line up on the steps? Get a photo with Christine posing in the front. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to like switch off with somebody, so we won't be able to be in it all at the same time, but all right, cool. Are you, are you going to go up there? Are you just, can you hold mine? Oh, yeah, take the switches out if you have them. Possibly put the brake lights in the air. Why the guys is gonna come to get that? <laughs> so you can do it. Okay, so grab the camera from him so you can get us. Grab the camera from him so from him. Yeah, so you guys can both get in it. Go ahead. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> I put mad tape on this. <laughs> Pose two. Change it up. <laughs> Pose three. Okay, post four. <laughs> I don't know how many we're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> she got it. She like, I got this. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. Let's do the, the nine game. Nine game. Nine game. Nine game. Oh, nine game. Nine game.
Anything else? <laughs> Did you want to jump in? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you mean like a What do you say? I'm gonna get it I don't have to Yeah. You guys go, I'm dancing at the Sonic Boom Sonic Boom Back Party WWE Women's Championship. He started all the way in the doorway and he made his way to the middle of the dance floor. <laughs> oh, sh <laughs> uh oh, Attica. <laughs> Hey! Yeah, I'm so glad you shared that. Thanks for sharing that. You're welcome. All right, so uh, the Joy-Con boy says that we should eat the Twizzlers. Woo! What do you guys think? Absolutely. Yeah, man. Everybody want to grab a Twizzler? That's true. He likes them stale. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> We should have took photos holding the Twizzlers, one each. Oh, yeah. Why didn't we do that? Y'all want to do that? Y'all want to do, oh, yeah. do that? Y'all want to do that? Sure, all right. Well, somebody want to crack one of those bags open? That one's already open, I think. Yeah. I'm losing my voice. All that yelling. I'll take a prop. Hey, Mikado. Can you uh can you put that in my bag and and uh right now I always call it like Yep. All right, bro. Wait, what 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 is that? I've learned that's like Corey Kenshin's in here. <laughs> Love you, Corey Kenshin. Yo, Corey Kenshin came out to show love to Attica. Corey Kenshin. Hi. <laughs> yeah, he's a YouTuber. He's awesome. Oh, I know who you are. I know who you are. Um, my friend, Ch Chazzy's boyfriend, fiance, loves your shit. <laughs> yeah. I love your channel too, man. My name is Ka Ninja. I love your channel. I have a channel as well. By the way, my son loves you too, okay? We respect you, Corey. Yeah. My niece loves you, And girl. thank you for making the video to Attica. Yes. You guys saw the video to Attica? Yes, I did. We appreciate it. I love the video and I showed it yeah. to her. He's like, he's really good. Love it. Oh, I didn't get the chance. You guys want to say hi to Corey Kitchen? Yeah. Woo! Oh, okay. Grab it. You can, you can take it if you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey. Oh, in there. Yeah. <laughs> Twizzler. I got the Twizzler. I'm showing. I'm showing the Twizzler. Okay, yeah, we feel the hot. Delicious. They're hitting right now, aren't they? All right, so we got what? One more photo to take with Twizzlers holding Twizzlers. <laughs> oh, we're eating? Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we got bad Twizzlers. <laughs> 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 I don't have much left. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh my god, those nipples are so long. <laughs> You got it, man. Yo, I think I think I'm gonna tag the Nintendo store wall with Attica's name. Or his or his logo. I'm gonna go tag it like before I leave. I'm only gonna be here till tomorrow, so I think No, I'm gonna tag his logo on it. Get some spray paint or something. I'll get probably get locked up for that. I said it on camera, but whatever. <laughs> Screw it. Like what are they gonna do? What are they gonna fly out? What are they gonna fly out to VA to lock me up for that? Yeah, true. <laughs> Uh, that shit still shook me up. Yeah, man, it hurts. Anything you want to say to him? And to the other Joy-Con boys? <laughs> Christine, I'll get Christine over. Hey, Christine, he wants to say something to you. Hey, you gonna get me, man? Hey, man, it, it's what it is, bro. I don't even know where to start. I just hope that you know. Now he knows that he was always loved, and he always loved, no matter what. You will never forget him. Dude, can't forget him. He's uh, remarkable. It's like you know, putting it lightly. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, give him a hug, Christine. I needed it so bad. I needed to scream. I needed to talk to you guys. You got it? So Somebody wanted to write Tommy on the board. Somebody, yeah, wanted you, yeah. Okay. Hey, this is the uh, the Joy-Con boys. The Joy-Con boys told you that it's okay to cry, bro. Bro, I, don't worry, man. I cried all day for two days straight. You and me, all day. I was making a video. I was making a video about him. I had to pause like every five, ten seconds to just go wipe my face until I wouldn't be like, you know, unpresentable. Like when I found out somebody posted the, um, the results on my Facebook and I literally just started screaming. Yeah. I literally just started screaming. Yeah. Hey guys, can we get a huddle in the middle and everybody put their hands up and one last Joy-Con boys? We can do that. You wanna be in the middle? And get your uh get your get your your best friend to like stand behind you and protect you. <laughs> right there. You wanna stand behind her and protect her? You know, yeah, from okay. any type of weird shit. Which, which, oh, way? oh, nice. I'm in the wall. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm I'm short, but I'm not that short. Hey, where's the Huh? How old are you? Maybe I should be in. You want to put the camera like on the eye? You're not short. You're front size. Yeah, you're not short. You're front size. That's a pretty good angle. Yeah, hold it like that. Alright guys, hands up. <laughs> On the count of three guys. One, two, three. Join the
Everybody shut down and nothing even worked. Joy Cobb boys! 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 It's okay to cry, man. The guys, this ride, this ride is non-operable. It's shut down. It doesn't work. But the lights came on. Do the lights always come on? Do the lights always come on? They do. Oh, okay. I was about to say, oh my god. But at the moment that we say Joy-Con boys, it came on. It came on soon as we said Joy-Con boys. It's too many, too many coincidences, and y'all know Etico. It was obsessed with coincidences. Obsessed. It was way too many coincidences today and on your stream and the past, like, all this past week. It's crazy. Yo, thank you so much for being like the co-host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I get a hug, Christine? Hey. Aww. Aww. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't think that there's much space for us to sign too many more names. If anything, I'd let Christine decide uh, whose names should be signed on there. But it's, they're teeny, if you can write it really small for them, maybe that would help them out. All right, we'll do it like this. Uh, maybe the first, the first five or ten people that um, comment their name, we'll sign it for them. What do you, Christine? They want us to put their they want us to put their name on the uh, on the board. We can write it real small. I'm thinking maybe the first five or ten people that comment their name. Fill that bitch up. All right, cool. Uh, that's in his words. Fill right. that bitch up. All right, guys. The first the first ten people to comment Joy Con gods will get their names written on it. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going until it runs out. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. I'll write that shit. Yeah, right. all right, cool. Oh, I threw it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Who? All right, so we got, we got, we got uh, someone named Grim. Someone named Grim. I don't know where the other. Who has another marker? Hold on, I got one. Here, I'll help her. We got Balter Preston. You can just put Balter. Just put Balter. B A L T A R. You got Dana. What's the Bermuda Triangle? With, a, with an H or just Yeah, D-A-N-A. Someone named Splat Network. Yeah. Yeah, we got uh, someone named Chris Garola. Chris G-U-R-R-O-L-A. Do you wanna do you wanna hold it and check it out so you can it'd be easier for you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I should just write it down. Yeah, Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. <clears throat> I got a bag. Alright, we gotta get our bags. Grab them. Grab the bags. Okay. You want me to help you, honey? Oh, um, she's got to sharpen. This is a. Yeah, this, she's got to read it off, so it's not yeah. really like much we can do. Okay. Oh, shit. I think I lost it. What happened to the chat? I think you just, I think you just touch it. Oh, I touched it. Okay. Alright, cool. 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 That was total, yeah. That was that was the total, yeah. Oh my god, I had only started. Oh, that's it. Damn. You got yours? Did anyone not stream? Oh. It's on Twitter. I guess I did like, I guess I put it in the screen. I have no idea. Alright, well, it was a nice sentiment. We got a few names then. Yeah, yeah. Anybody got the live stream put up on their phone? They can read out names to her? Anybody that comments Joy-Con Gods? That's who want their names put on there. Keep commenting Joy Con Oh no, Hutch Hat is like taken out, so. Oh, it's confusing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scroll for comments. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, like, you gotta go. scroll down. Uh, down. Alright, we're back. We're back. Alright, uh, good yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an IT. So. What's your name, by the way, man? Omari. Omari? Yeah, Omari. You got a YouTube channel? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll shout you out on my channel, man. Uh, it's Wolf420, but I don't really post anything on there. I just oh, okay. use it to like. To, to, really okay, okay. Right. Well, if I see you, then, I, then you know. Yeah, then that'd be cool. I'm already subscribed to her, so that's all good. Alright, awesome. What are you disappearing for? Maybe you yeah, can just hold your finger. Can you just hold your finger on there and like kind of move it? Yeah. That, that works. Okay. All right. So yeah, we got. Yeah, we got y'all. All right, we got y'all. I'm looking. I'm really am looking. 
If you want to see this footage, it'll be on my channel as well. It's named Kai Ninja. K A E Ninja. Do you remember the stream I did with him? I think so. The streamception? I don't think I don't think I've seen that one. K A Ninja? Yeah. What's your channel? K A Ninja. Kai Ninja. This one? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna send to you. This did. Alright, cool. And um this this uh footage will all be on there as well. Words. I put it on my channel. I already told him. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> if y'all if y'all want to find the footage of me and uh, Desmond, just type in uh, um, Etika Kai Ninja Streamception. Streamception. Yeah, and you can find it like that. What's your channel again? Uh, Kai Ninja. K A Ninja. Oh, okay. Hey, Liz. I'm live on my Oh, sweet. Mm. No, that's why I meant. I'm about to subscribe. <laughs> why wouldn't I subscribe? I subscribe to everybody here on my plane. Yo, I will too. I'll subscribe to you guys if, if you guys will post. You have to post, bro. Like, that's all I have to say. Like, I will watch your videos. I don't watch too many big YouTubers. I more so watch the smaller yeah, ones. Oh. Yeah, because you can yeah, talk to them. Humble. Yeah, and you can talk to them and stuff, that's you know? That's that Jordan Sweeto? That's me, bro. Oh, that's, that's you? That's when I had, I had long hair and oh. I straightened it. I straightened it out and whatnot. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can go on my Instagram and you can see the photos. Like, I have a bunch like that as well. Yeah, I just subscribed yeah. to you, man. All right, cool, bro. Check your Instagram. If you, uh, if you just, if you want me to follow you, just DM me on Instagram. Like, okay. Just yeah. hit me up on Instagram. I got you. Which one's yours? Uh, that's the Beats channel. Go to um, Ninja underscore underscore 3A. What's your Insta? Because I make music as well. Oh, damn. I'm going to check that out. Yeah, I'm a musician. Right? What's your Insta? Ninja underscore underscore 3A. Okay. Musician? You said musician? Yeah, right, I'm studying for that, bro. Really? That's yeah, awesome, man. That's dope. I've been doing it for probably about six years now. Oh, yeah. Got it. Right here. Yes, yeah, just look, man. Just everybody, if you follow me, just please just DM me so I know, like, we, we can stay in contact for real. I would, I would love that. Like, I swear, man. I just DM'd you. <laughs> All right, I will follow you back, man. Is the same right. thing on Twitter? Um, no, it's um, yeah, it's the same thing on Twitter. Oh, it is same name on Twitter oh. and on Instagram. Oh, okay. Wait, Ninja, Ninja underscore yeah. underscore three X. Yeah. I got you right here. You're Omari Prime. <laughs> no, I'm underscore. That, that's me. That's oh, okay, me. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not me. Like Minus underscore Mellow Jello, you remember it. Yeah, right? I see, well, I see, well, I have it on recording, and on top of that, uh, they're popping up, so don't oh, worry. Oh, true. We'll see it. Is him? Yeah, that's me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Word. I don't see why not. It's not like your ugly guy. Well. <laughs> Andre G. Oh my god, Heavenly Controls well, here. Hi, dude. Heavenly <laughs> Controllers in there? Yeah. That's lit. <laughs> He's a YouTuber. Cool. Hey. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> How long did it take to get that? Uh, uh, like 30 minutes. <laughs> I think. Damn. I, think I know damn well I'm gonna get hella copyright claims. But I don't give a Probably. flying fuck. Yeah. If they shut my if they shut my channel down, you guys know why. But yeah. I will make sure this footage gets out no matter what. If I have to post it Yo, on Twitter, you know, we're all gonna it's gotta go on Twitter. But library, you know what that is? It's a website L B R Y. You can post anything on there, copyright or not, and they don't they don't run all that shit, man. Like they don't give you. There's no infringements. There's no none of that. Like you post anything you want. You can even post porn, bro. They don't care. They, don't, they do not give a fuck. So if I will make sure that it is out no matter what like this footage will be seen yeah. <laughs> I think that's a drone Michael pretty soon the fireworks start right it's 846 so it's start about a about an hour or so yeah I'm gonna save some of this footage for them Takarai yeah Get this stuff, yeah, man. Right? It's like you're so <laughs> stuck in the moment, can't really Mr. think on this. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Avery. That dude, dude was always hot when Daddy oh, Sakurai released some character for Smash. Yes. Yeah. It's a lot coming in. Yeah. <laughs> so are you going to start from the ones that already showed up or the ones that are on the so they have an alert. You like the name oh. of the oh, I'm kind of tired. Yo. <laughs> Somebody want to take over writing for her? In small, uh, small, small letters. I, I, I have to do it. I have to do it. Okay, but whatever. Kato, you want to take over? What? You got the camera? No, okay. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, you right here. Uh, uh, there's so many names, man. 
That's for Alex. Tony Astro. Uh, Sam. Yeah, I guess good. Yeah. Do you guys think Etika would be mad at us if we put Minecraft on that? No. no. You think he'd be mad if we put Minecraft? He would probably cringe so hard. He went, yo, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least put 2B2T on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2B2T, 9 Yeah. Why not? Yeah, put, uh, put, what's his name? Um, 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 um. Yeah, but I was about to say, uh, put, uh, Corey Kenshin on there as well. He came through. Giancarlo, yeah. <laughs> put Young Ramsey on there. Yeah, Young Ramsey. <laughs> we'll always be like, who's Young Ramsey? I thought you bounced on me, man. I thought you left. Really? Young Betty Crocker. Boy. All right, hey everyone. Um, my name is Zachary. Also known as also, my name is Zachary. Also known as Zeki Zeka on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. How do they spell it? Z e k k a z e k k i e. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, hearing Erica's death was super touching because as, a, as someone who survived his own suicide at one point. I did too, man. I did too, man. Yeah. It was really hard. It made me super, super depressed. And, you know, another time I was almost doing it once more. But I'm going to let you know right now. Anytime I saw Erica, it seemed like... Sadness was nothing. He was all about hype, inspiration, and power. He was all about telling you the facts and how to live and how to be a better person. Uh, my fondest memories of him was when he was with uh, Christine. You know, when he was in that in living room in the corner streaming. Every time he streamed there, it was one of those moments that I could just chill, and yeah. watch him, and, and have fun. Because those were those moments where he was really getting there. He was getting yeah. up there. Yeah, man. Xenoblade streams. That's and, right. Yeah, he man. was getting up there. I loved it. And, you know, of course, we all seen the hype smash reactions and all that. Honestly, Etika, I don't I don't think Etika's dead because we're seeing so many coincidences. Man, here. you got it, bro. So many. So, honestly, it's not about rest in peace and rest in power. He's here. He's controlling everything he can, showing show the signs. He truly has the power at this point to do what he wants, and he's doing it in a good sense. He's showing us love out here. Um, if I could tell anybody anything, I would tell you that we all have fractured hearts. We all know the pieces are everywhere, and we're all looking for them. Keep doing that. Breathe, live, love, walk, do everything you can. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, we're all here, and I just want to let you know that you are loved. Well, you are you needed. Live life. Be safe. God bless. Thank you. That was beautiful. Oh, no. oh. Damn. And I didn't realize it until I finished making my meal. Oh. I picked it up and I realized, damn. Switches, man. Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, look at, at look them at the back. Oh, oh, holy crap! Oh, oh, it's still it's critical oh, damage. It still works. It still works. It still works. That damn thing is indestructible. It works. Just don't touch it. First, it was just the you know the Zuko like burn mark. You know, over the months, I like started cracking all over the place. It got to the point where I literally can't put this back in. So now I just like I guess I just replaced it. I figured I'd bring it because you know. I showed it to him. Like, he picked out of him so much that he decided to take a picture on his own. On his own phone. Yeah, I saw him. Later that day, I asked him for his, uh, you know, send it to my Instagram before he started. Can you get a sparkler? <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> what a coinky! What a You guys will only be the only ones that know the real truth behind this. <laughs> Let's, how about we light hers and then we all light ours off of hers? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's pretty lit, literally. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of you with yours. Is that a fire hazard? Guys, <laughs> 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 Alright, should we use my torch? 
Yeah, maybe it's yeah. Torch. Maybe it's torch. <laughs> Should we use my torch? We got this. Sacred torch. Come on. Why is it not turning on? Oh, there we go. go. Let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Get it, get it. Give me some sparks. Give me some sparks. Turn on, turn on. Hey! I need some sparks in my life. Hey! Oh, wait, wait. Come on. Joy-Con boys! Joy-Con boys! Yeah! Oh shit! We love you, Erica! Oh, we got oh, 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 hey, 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 I don't know why I did this. That's for you guys. We wanted to make sure that we did it. They asked for it. Oh! 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 That's right, bro. Why one up? Oh! That New York day. Yeah.
My voice is so messed up. <laughs> I've, uh, it's been so long since so my voice has been like this. <laughs> This is so beautiful. Joy Con boys! Holy crap. Holy crap! It's getting bigger and bigger. Attica's smiling on us right now. Wow, that one was, yo, I know, bro. Holy crap, that one was crazy. Uh, we're, we're going back to her crib. Maybe you can come. I'm not sure. We can ask her. I would love a drink, man. So we got money now. We got money. We can we can get it. But she's not charging us. Well, when you come out to my city, yeah, yeah, man. I got you, man. Attica and Christine just now, those two fireworks. Not and bright. <laughs> My dick! My 
behind it! A smiley face! Oh snap! Look, smiley faces! Yo! If only it said Etika up there, man. That would be so beautiful. Like, New York itself, like... Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I got another one. Like, black, so. black, 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 black. Yeah. Do this every Friday? Yeah. This is dope, man. That's so awesome. Everybody, I would just come here every Friday. Like, yeah. like no joke. If I lived here, I would be here every single Friday. Yeah. I doubt it. Everybody hold up your joy card. I, I, I ain't got no joy card, bro. My switch is my switch is in the crib, man. My switch is really in the crib. You want to hold up, uh, you can circle around and get up. You want to circle around and get up. Everybody holding their joy cons up. Just like walk around. Walk around. This, this cool guy DJ right here, he's made the experience out here for me pretty lit as well. I, I had a great time meeting you, man. Hope Hopefully you'll check out the documentary and, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely, bro. We got so much footage, bro. Yeah, of the um, of the of the whole experience, you know. Coming out here and um, to the memorial and whatnot and everybody's thoughts on Etika and remembering his life and not just him passing away, you know what I mean? And everybody here shared their thoughts one-on-one -on -one with me, you know, on camera, so I'm putting every single, it's gonna be like an hour and a half, two hours long, I'm not even joking, so. Oh. Yeah, I have so much footage, like, it's probably me even longer than that. Yeah. I'm putting everything in there. I believe it, yeah. I'm putting everything. Man, I'm telling you. No, it just died. Shit. What, your phone died? You got a ton? Uh, 
first saw Etika's profile when it popped up on my feed. And I was like, why not? I mean, YouTube's a, a huge place. You never know what you find. And he was the first guy that I found that was around my age, more mature, you know, darker edgy jokes. Things that was more relatable than, you know, just keeping a nice profile. And the fact that he gamed and he was just so relatable. And it was, it was beautiful. What was and your greatest memory of him? Greatest memory? His, his reveals, man. Yeah. Smash. Yo, he yeah. flipped. Always flipped. His reveals, the, his emotion, his reactions. Priceless. His energy, pure. man. Yeah, his energy. So pure. He's beautiful. He's going to be missed. Yeah. Is there um, anything you want to say to him if he could if he could see this video? I would just say... Or to the other Joy-Con boys? Yo, we got to keep our heads up. He... His life is still going on. He's with us and he's up he's upstairs. He's Yeah, man. He's still playing Smash. Yeah, he's man. He's playing characters we can't have yet. Yeah, energy so, doesn't die, bro. Exactly. Uh give us give us an Instagram or Twitter or any type of social media you want to let people find you on. I'm on I'm on everything. C Ramirez 0426. You want to spell it out? C R A M I R E Z 0426. All right, man. I'm going to check you out as well. Um if you want to find this documentary it's uh, at Ka Ninja on YouTube, so K-A space Ninja. And also, you could check out the stream I did with him as well. If you, uh, yeah, I you was keeping like the stream earlier today. Oh, you seen it? Yeah. The stream session? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, cool. That's awesome, man. Well, thanks for coming out. I really course, appreciate man. it. And, and, and I love you, man. Love you too, bro. Take care, bro. So, my name is Kalu, right? My first memory of Erica is when his Mewtwo reveal. I don't know, like, that's about it. That's, like, a, a big thing that most people, like, saw him. So, I was, like, one of those people that saw it. And I remember just, like loving his attitude and like loving how hype he was and I was like I was so hype about it my greatest memory is like I don't even think I have a greatest memory it's just like every time like I saw the notification for a stream I was always so hyped just to be there to watch the stream and just like I have so much good memories with like just watching the stream and always finding a place to laugh and like everything else like when I felt down or everything like I didn't feel good I like I always felt like when I was watching Annika I could always like all that stuff would just go away. It's, you know, it's like, it's really hard just to see him go now. But I know he's like still like uh, with us. He's still living with us. He's still watching over us. So, you know, uh, his, his energy will never die. Like, his energy That's true, man. Yeah. So, so you can rest in power. Yeah, rest in power. Bro. He's, ne he's never going to leave us. Yeah. So, uh, if, I, if he was here, I would just say, just continue being him. Because he was, he always, knew how to like bring joy to situation like yeah. even if like stuff got dark he always knew how to like make sure people like stayed ahead of him so that's that's the most i can say okay um, i just want to say thank you to him just for being just be, for being there just for being around okay and uh, uh you want to tell people your social media so they can find you man uh, i don't really use social media like that so you're not even gonna find me but what's your what you, you said your name was christian my name's khalil khalil sorry yeah so okay yeah. All right. Just, just shout out to Definitely, bro. Thank you, bro. So. What's your name? Oh, Quentin. Quentin. All right. And uh, I need to know your first memory of Etika, best memory of Etika, and anything you want to say to him and the Joy-Con uh, boys. Okay. So my first memory of Etika was when Undertale just came out, and I had watched all the other YouTubers, and then, and then I just see this guy with a flat top with like <laughs> taking this face at it I'm like okay then this looks funny and it was funny like it, like out of all the let's plays of that game Etika's was my favorite and what really hooked me in was uh, was actually a spoiler alert when Asriel is about to turn back into a flower and he asks his, asks Frisk for a hug and then Etika's just going no bitch niggas <laughs> like that is the moment I knew that like like this guy was real. Yeah. That was my first moment with him. As for favorites, that's really hard. He, okay. There's too many good moments with this dude. Is there a certain stream that stands out to you more than the others? Uh, yeah. Bayonetta. <laughs> that one actually blew out one of my head. One of my headphones. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Well, I'd, that. I'd buy, I'd buy new headphones, but that's a memory I'm gonna. If this, if if first. that moment blew out anyone else's headphones, leave a comment down below and let him know that he's not alone. Uh, is there anything you want to say to him or to the Joy-Con boys? 
I think we should all be like Etika. Yeah. You know, at you know he he always wanted to make people laugh. You know, just make people happy. You know, he you know he always had so much energy. Yeah. You know, so much uh, lust for life. Right. And I think we can all be like that. We definitely can. I man. think. I, I think that he wants us to be like that. Yeah. I have to agree with you 100 trillion percent and be ourselves and not be afraid to express ourselves and express our opinions that's what Etika stood for um, is there any social media that you have that you want to give to the people uh yeah uh, it, yeah is this my name Quentin Kerr not Quentin Tarantino it's spelled differently okay uh, do, uh, do I just show you yeah you can show them yeah that's fine yeah yeah here I'll oh that's that's not nice you guys can check him out show him some love Go follow him, chat it up with him. He's a fellow Joy-Con boy. We're not ever going anywhere, guys. You know that. Like, I don't think I fully processed that he's gone. Like, it was immediate for me, man. I just lost my mind day one. Like, I, I feel like I still don't really believe it. That's it's yeah a, a delayed reaction. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's so much shock that you haven't even like processed. I haven't processed it yet. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It just it doesn't feel it doesn't feel real. Right. But at the same time, you know, you look at so many other extremely energetic people or whatever, like Robin Williams. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they, I, I mean, thing is with Etika, you know, we knew that he had what was it, bipolar, something to that effect. No, we don't know anything, man. And honestly, I don't think he had anything. And I mean, to be honest with you, we just. The, the people in the community, the bad ones, just got to him. That's how I feel. But all those clown emojis, like yeah, I, like I can't That's, stand seeing them now. Me neither, bro. It, 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 like, I'm just getting it kills me, bro. It kills me inside, bro. But I just want to say thank you for for coming on the documentary and sharing with us. I really appreciate it, man. And you know, Joy-Con boys for life, bro. Joy-Con boys for life. My name is Suki. Um, I think my first memory of Etika was the Smash Ultimate reveal for Nintendo Direct. Um, somebody posted it on Facebook and the, his reaction just had me laughing. Um, my favorite one was, this is probably kind of weird, but my favorite one was when he was doing the jumping jacks in his house. <laughs> I was like, what is this nigga doing? <laughs> but he always had a way of making people laugh, just doing the most off the wall shit for no reason at all, but just the fact that he can get away with it. and. He was able to get away with it, and he made an impact that I don't even think he realized that he made. Because look at how many people just came out here, and they're still here, and they're still here. even after the fireworks. Exactly. Ain't nobody ain't going nowhere. We're exactly. we're, we're hanging out. Like, and this is actually the third memorial I've seen of him. There was another one in downtown Brooklyn, yeah. and there was one, on, of course, on the bridge. Manhattan. Yeah. I don't even, yo, I'm going nowhere near that bridge for a little minute because this is gonna bother me for a long time. Hold on, continue. But then, but yeah, and it also, I also found out that I went to high school with one of his cousins. Wow. So that was just like, holy shit. <laughs> What's one of your favorite memories of him? When he did the jumping jacks in his underwear. Okay. And um, so, uh, is there anything you want to say to him or the Joy-Con boys? Just, just know that you were loved, you were cared for no matter what. Um, we love you, we will always miss you, and we'll carry you, we'll carry your legacy as long as we live. Okay. Where can uh, where can uh, Joy-Con boys find you on social media? Um, well, on twitch.tv slash Miss Sukiyomi. Okay. Instagram, also Miss Sukiyomi, S-U-Q-I-Y-O-M-I. That's my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. Okay. And this is going to bug me for a long time. But I know he wouldn't want people to be upset. More so just party and celebrate him more than mourn him. So yeah. that's just what I'm going to do. I'm gonna Thank keep watching the streams. I'm gonna keep playing Smash. I'm not even gonna use the GameCube controller anymore. I'm just gonna keep using the Joy Cons. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you, Joy Con. Right, the herpes. This is called candle herpes, guys. This is how it spreads. Fire herpes. What? Oh, Christine. Everyone's doing it so nice. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally lit, guys. It's lit, boys. All the time.
Oh, we're one back. Time. We're back live again. Oh, hey. Woo! You didn't get one? Yeah. Let her know. Let her know. I didn't get one. Oh, because um, he needs a candle. Hey, can you hold this for one second? Yeah, I you Hey, catch it. Yeah. Uh, hey! Thank you so nope, much. Nope, this kid is over there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everyone who came to this memorial. Desmond is absolutely here with us right Woo! now. Woo! Woo! Yeah! 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 He changed Woo! all of our lives and um, never forget him. And will never forget It's impossible. It's impossible to forget somebody like him. It's impossible. It's impossible. Even a hundred years from now, you know how influential the internet is? People are still going to use his image a hundred yes. years from yes. now. Yeah. 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 Even if they said the world's not going to end, the aliens are going to use the memes. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. facts. The memes never win. <laughs> um, but I don't know how to end The positive them, ones. I guess in to Attica. Uh, to Attica. If I could add anything... If I could add anything, could I ask? Woo! If I could add anything, could I ask you guys if you would agree with me when I say that words are extremely important and that it matters if you treat each other with positivity yes. and not negativity? Yes. 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 And it's not a joke. Words have a bigger impact than actual physical violence. Words are energy. Exactly. They say, yeah. Listen, you, you can recover from a stab wound, but you can't, can't recover, recover from, from what somebody says to you. The, the thing, thing, thing is, is that you play it. It sticks with you. The thing is, is that you play it in your head over and over and over, whereas... Exactly. Oh, shit. Joy Con Boys! 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 Woo! Yeah! Yes. Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere we look, Joy Con Boys. And that just shows how far his legacy goes. Yes, and that is exactly true. Out of nowhere. And Sakurai himself actually tweeted about it. He did? Yeah, he did. Holy crap! That's how you know oh, yeah, he was known in Sakurai. No, okay. He was actually famous in Japan too. That is crazy. Holy crap. He was the uh, black guile, I think. The black guile? Wow. We gotta host a watch party for the last episode of Team Titans. I mean, I mean, Attack on Titan? Attack on Titan. Team Titans. JoJo's too. Yeah, JoJo. I don't even watch JoJo, but I'll do it. I gotta catch up. Really? My roommate loves it. I love it. It's a seven page movie. I gotta catch up. Okay, so. Look, I'll take the L and get banned to stream that. I don't mind. Blowing out the candle. One All right. Gone but not forgotten. All right. Three, two, one. Woo! I was probably the only that blew it out with his nose. You blew it out with your nose. He blew it out with his nose. Yes, I said like. Uh oh. That's the attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. That's the, oh, no, no, no. Is that the new one? Is that the new attack? <laughs> oh, that is So, you know, for a while now, me and uh, the real M14 been promising each other that we was gonna take a drink together one day, right? We finally made it happen. It's happy. Uh oh, more fireworks. Yeah.
You've been promising we were going to take a drink together for a while now. And finally, this is a long time. It's been a year. A year. And we finally got our drinks. Cheers to you, my brother. Long Island. Long Island on Coney Island. Hey, what's up? I'm Carlos. I'm 19 years old and I'm a photographer from Queens, New York. <laughs> awesome. And what was your first memory of Etika? Uh, my first memory of Etika was me watching the, um, what was it? It was the Subway like meme, like the foot long, <laughs> the nutsack sandwich. Yeah, that was like my first memory of Etika. Okay, and how about your yeah. favorite memory? Uh, my favorite memory of Etika would be when he would always get like really fucking drunk on stream and he would get like huge donations to get big <laughs> shots and then Christine would be in the background and like, are you okay? He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> and then he'd just be like all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Is there uh, anything that you want to say to the Joy-Con boys or to Etika? Yeah. Um, to the Joy-Con boys, just keep going, trucking on, you know, we're, we're going through this together. You guys are going to make it through because at the end of the tunnel, there's always a light. Yeah, that's for sure, man. Thank you for sharing, Carlos. Thanks, man. I appreciate, appreciate it. I appreciate you, bro. Oh, by the way, do you have social media that the uh, people can follow you yeah. on and check out your photography? Yeah, my Instagram is... Because I know you took a load of photos today. Yeah, They're going to want to see those. I took a fuck ton of Look, videos. he's got this wonderful DSLR on his neck. Yeah, I got a Canon T6. Y'all mm -hmm. already know. Y'all going to want to see those photos, so check out his Instagram. What is your Instagram? My Instagram Spell is... Spell it. Uh, hashtag underscore M E L L O W J E L L O Mellow Jello. It's and it's really but it's a hashtag. Yeah. Um, you can what? put that in. You can put that in the. Uh, oh, you mean the at sign? Yeah, like the like the at like okay. that's the. All right, the at sign and then uh, mellow. Yeah. Uh, underscore. underscore Mellow Jello. All right. Like you'll find it. It's really easy to find. All right, we got you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thank thanks, you for. Man. No, thanks for like doing sure. this man like yeah. you were great you were so like supportive man you held everything together and made sure shit didn't go crazy you know yeah man i appreciate the recognition bro and uh again you made the experience a lot more interesting for me and made it awesome and i just want to say thank you man i appreciate yeah. it yeah no problem man thanks <laughs> all right guys it's attica no bitch niggas no fake switch niggas, no twitch niggas. You guys know the gist. That's right, bro. Joy-Con gods. Rest in power, Attica. All the Joy-Con boys decided to link up and again and stay together and go out to Nathan's. It's my second time here. I'm gonna get another hot dog in lieu of our boy Desmond. Anything y'all want to say about Nathan's? Nathan's, uh, it's a classic here, bro. You always uh, get it. When you come in, you gotta get it. It's overpriced. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I had it earlier. It's good. I'm gonna try the lemonade or some shit. So. I want to share, share a story. He loved Nathan's, but he didn't love it that much. I don't know. One thing. Continue your story. We got you in line. You first in line. You first in line. Don't worry. Um. Oh, anyways, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. For the longest, he kept teasing me because he was like, you live in Coney Island, and you didn't show me the hot dog in content. And I'm just like, who goes with the hot dog? It's a piece of shit. <laughs> First of all, it's hot as fuck. It always ends up being hot as fuck. I don't know why. And then there's so many people, and, and it all just happens to be tall as fuck. So it's like, three, four, five, six, seven, so you were, you were, you left off when you were saying that there's like uh, apparently oh. apparently you said that there was a hot dog eating contest and oh, it was yeah, like yeah, shitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shitty chestnut. He, and I, I kept telling him it was shitty, like don't go. And then on the year that we went, it was like on the hottest day practically. The sun was beaming, no clouds, and and uh, we were going on rides and trying to like beat the heat. And he was like, I hate this place, and I'm like, I know you. <laughs> I told you. And he's like, well, thanks for showing me. So, yeah. <laughs> when, how long ago was that? That was in 2016. 2016? Yeah. Wow. Thank you for sharing the yeah, story. He, he, he kept teasing me. He really kept taunting me. I thought it was my fault. I thought that he didn't have two pairs of legs. <laughs> 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 that show <laughs> Thank you for sharing the story, Christine. No problem. I'm also very high. So you said what? Very high. 
<laughs> you're high? No, no, like Yeah, you're good, you're good. Do your thing. Yeah. It was good butt though, was it? Was it some loud or was it some mid? What? Was it loud or was it mid? Honestly, you think it was mid? Yeah. He said it was the loudest loud. I have it on camera earlier. Oh, she was well, like, that's the loudest. Well, I'm Etika's best girlfriend. Yeah, right. I, mean, I exaggerate just like him. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, you're his wife. He was in love with three other women. You're his wife. I don't want to. No, work. That's, 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 that's his wife. I'm the, I'm the first lady. Yeah. yeah. Fuck out of here. Don't get it twisted, Christine. Whatever. We out here, Joy-Con boys, eating at Nathan's. Everybody got their grub. Woo! Non-gay. Non-gay. Joy-Con boys. Yeah. Uh, chilling with Suki right now. We're at the apartment. We're we're starting off to play Smash Bros. I created the room. The minute I created the room, y'all watch me. I did not touch my thing. I voted on I voted on my stage, and then what happened? My cursor automatically went to Ridley. It was just started off there. It was right there. That's it's supposed to start in the middle of the screen. It's supposed to start right there in the middle. It was on Ridley. That's Etika's main. That's Etika's look, it's moving on its own. Oh my god. Did you see that? Yo, it just moved on its own again. It's on camera. It's on camera. No, 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 no. I am putting this in the documentary. That is wild. I am putting this in. He's with you, man. He's with you for this match. Yo, Attica is with us. It stopped on Ridley. It, 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 stopped. it just went to the top, to the rule set now, to the book. That means get to play in there. That means, nah, that means the rules. No bitch niggas. No, no fake Swiss niggas. No Twitch niggas. <laughs> oh, my God. Attica, I love you, man. I can't believe this. Good morning, everybody. I just woke up um, after the memorial service last night. It was amazing. But The Verge uh, reached out to me, Julia from The Verge, and it wants to chat with me about the situation. So I figured it would only be right that I filmed it for you guys as well and threw this into the documentary so that way you guys could all check it out and see what exactly took place behind the scenes and whatnot. And hopefully I could possibly get it out before them but even if I didn't, it didn't matter because you guys would be able to see the behind the scenes of it. And I felt like that was uh, really great. Um, I'm, by the way, one of the Joy-Con girls, I don't know if you guys knew that they existed or not, but because <laughs> his demographic was supposedly supposed to be like 0.3% girls or whatever. But one of the Joy-Con girls ended up letting us crash at her crib last night. And I really appreciate that. No problem, man. Big shout out to you. And uh, I guess you could share your social media to them. Not right now. No, <laughs> I'm no, like no, a right mess. Here. Okay, okay, sorry. I just woke up, bro. I'm but yeah, we, my hair not done in anything. I will have the um, the phone call filmed, and I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm getting the phone call from them now. Hello? Hey, it's Julia. How's it going? Hey, Julia. How you doing? Good morning. Good. Good morning, yeah. Um, and just so I get your name right, what's, um, what's your first name? Kaninja. Kaninja, I'll go by that, okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, Kaninja, talk to me, uh, a little bit, I, and I know I want to be, um, very, like, upfront. A lot of this can be really hard to talk about, and if you don't feel comfortable talking about something, like, I want you to feel comfortable to say, I don't really want to talk about that. Okay. Um, and we'll just walk in it. Yeah. Um, Talk to me a little bit about, first and foremost, about um, your relationship with Desmond. How, uh, okay. how did you come to know him? And... All right. Um, before we start, I actually want to say sorry for my voice because, you know, yesterday was really crazy. So I might be like, <clears throat> my voice might go in and out and whatnot. So, no yeah, so if it no kinda, problem. So my voice kind of goes in and out or like it cracks or something, just apologies now. It's just not how I normally sound. But um, how I came to met, meet Desmond, it was my birthday, um, probably about two years ago, and all I wanted was just to see him. And I told my subscribers that they were like, "Well, what do you, what do you want for your birthday?" I was like, "Guys, I just want to meet meet Etika, you know." And then they were like, "All right, well, I started live streaming, and I was talking to him on my live stream, and they went into his channel because he started live streaming, and I didn't want to miss his stream, so I." Was I took his live stream and put it inside of my stream so I could still watch and so my subscribers could watch as well while I still was doing my live stream. 
So all my subscribers went to his channel and started like spamming his channel and whatnot and telling him that um, go to my channel and check my channel out. And he, at first he wasn't sure what was going on. He was kind of confused and stuff. And then he ended up giving in and was like, you know what, I'm going to go see what's going on with this guy. So many people were in here spamming that to me to go check him out. So he ended up coming to my channel and checking it out. And uh, it made, made my birthday one of the greatest birthdays of my life. And I, I went crazy, lost my mind, like spazzed out and stuff. And we were like taking shots together on stream. And we had a, we had a, we had a streamception. Uh, the video is still up on YouTube. Uh, some of the, the Joy-Con boys, they re-uploaded it and whatnot. So it's still up, but it was a streamception um, where it's like a stream within a stream within a stream within a stream. So it was, it was crazy. But yeah, that's how I came to meet um, to meet Desmond, and from then on, I just you know continued reaching out to him and chatting with him here and there. But I gotta say, I wasn't extremely close to him. I want to make sure that that's understood. I was not extremely yeah. close to him in any way. I mean, but I will say that just like everyone else out there, I'm sure that everybody feels like they know him because we all spent so much time watching the streams and talking with him and chatting with him and. And, you know, his energy really, like, brought out the best out of a lot of us, you know. So that's how I came yeah. to meet him. Yeah, I was speaking to one of his uh, moderators, Christy, this morning. Um, okay. And we were talking about um, that exact thing. And, and specifically about how everyone has an etiquette story. They didn't know what it Yeah, etiquette. yeah, exactly. That's, see, that's the thing. Um, when I was filming the documentary yesterday so many people had so many stories about him and like how they have in, impacted how he impacted their life and even how they might have bumped into him and met him and um whatnot and i was just so surprised that all these people have so many different stories to tell about him and they even had some hidden footage that we had uh never seen people had recorded him at parties and stuff and linked up with him at parties so it was it was really awesome to just see that he had touched the lives of so many people in just the 29 years that he was on this planet. And it's like, you don't really realize how much somebody has an impact, you know, until, until everybody comes together to really share their, their best and fondest memories of, of them, you know. Yeah, it's actually, um, you know, so I saw him before everything happened. I was in Chicago and what's been really great is the community rally around him this week. Yeah. Uh, and, and everyone is coming together to like share their favorite Etika moments. How has this, because you knew him online, you were uh, part of this very, very dedicated love, like the full of love yeah. community. Uh, how has that community helped this week dealing with um, this tragedy for us? I guess it's a perfect word for it, this tragedy. Well, what I have to say, they've helped because everyone has come together and, and decided to um, embrace one another and to, sh to also share their, their footage of him and their memories of him to help us to be able to remember him in, in a good light and not any of the negative things that really took place. Like, a lot of people are avoiding talking about like what actually really happened and we're more so just focusing on the, the life of Etika and not how he came to pass. And I think that that has helped the community to get over this. So like I always like to say, we're we're helping him rest in power and not rest in peace. And I think that that's probably one of the, the greatest things that the community has done. Um, I just hope that this can be a lesson to all communities and not just the Joy-Con boys or Nine Gang or any of that. Like I just hope this can be a, a lesson to every community online that the power of words and the power of memes actually has an impact on the psyche of influencers. And, you know, we have to be respectful at all times. And I've been telling everybody to check out the rice experiment because that shows it's a scientific, uh, a scientific video. It's only about four minutes long. It shows like the impact of saying a negative, something negative to, um, to anything that has water flowing through it, uh, which is us, we're humans, we have water flowing through us. So. Um, so it has a negative impact on us. If you say negative things, then over time it actually can make us sick. 
And um, there's been ex many experiments that show that. Um, also, the rice experiment shows that saying positive things can take uh, take water and rice, and it would turn into wine if you just say "I love you" to it every day for 30 days. It turns into rice wine. But if you say "I, um, you know, I hate you" or some negative things to it, it begins to rot and mold so quick, so fast. And then they even have another jar where they don't say anything to it, and they just ignore it as like a control to show what the speed of, uh, I guess, how fast it would normally mold or rot. And, uh, and you know, it's pretty, it molds and rots pretty slowly, but if you say negative things to it, it begins rotting immediately. It begins to mold immediately and starts steam and everything on the side of the jar. So I really just hope that this is a lesson to the community that we have to embrace one another and all communities. We have to embrace one another, we have to accept each other, we have to be there for people in our times of, of need and, and not kick people when they're down because you know it really contributed to to help to not helping but to causing this whole situation you know so that's the one thing well, I, yeah yeah no i think everything that you're saying is this, like really embracing this idea of love and, and loving someone um, who i think is such an online figure and i think when there's that Persona. I, I spoke to someone else up, um, this weekend, and they used the word persona a lot. And I right. thought, right, you know, etiquette with this persona, um, and it gets easy for people to forget that they're human. Um, yeah, exactly. And you read tweets and comments. Uh, and so I think the, the, the negativity has been really, I think the positivity has really outshone the negativity. And, and I was calling uh, talking about the memorial last night. Like, how, how was that? How was that? Um, it was unbelievable. I honestly, I don't even think words can describe it. It all felt like such a dream, though, because I came from multiple states away to make sure I could come out here and pay my respects. And I just, I guess, having knowing that I'm leaving today, which is the day after, um, it just all feels like a dream. And everybody had such positive energy. Uh, but we got to hear everybody's stories. It was it was so amazing. I just couldn't believe that somebody, that one person could reach out and touch so many people so deeply and and have them all come together as well. And but we didn't go out and, and just mourn and just be sad. We we, we we had handled it the way that Desmond would have wanted us to. We all celebrated, we chanted, we came together, we were embracing one another with hugs and love and um, just sharing our best memories. We ate Twizzlers, his favorite candy, uh, lit up the candles, and everybody just worked together so well to make sure that everyone was okay. Like those of us that were crying, we went up to each other, we, we, would, we would come in groups, we'll see someone crying, we'll run up to them and we'll just all hug them, embrace them, talk to them, get get them to feel better, let them know everything's gonna be okay. And it was just so amazing to see because I've never really seen people come together like that. I've never seen that in all the 26 years of my living. I've never seen people make sure that, to take care of each other with such such passion. It was, it was, it was I just can't believe it. I'm, like I said, it, words can't even, it, putting it in words kind of takes away from the experience. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the crazy part about this is like, just talking about it diminishes the actual experience itself. It was amazing. And I gotta say, like, I'm, I'm so glad that I came out and co-hosted and, like, and got to hang with Christine and everyone because I'd never been to New York before. So this was the, a wonderful first experience and I'm definitely gonna be coming back. And I think that um, a, lot of the, a lot of the Joy-Con boys actually lived here on Coney Island. So I think that they're, now they know who each other are it brought them, them together, and I think that's going to be for a long time, like not just something that's just for one night. I think that this is going to be an ongoing thing where these people's lives are going to be changed forever. Like, there's a lot of positivity that came from this negative situation, and that's just something that I think Desmond would have wanted, honestly. Well, and that, what I thought was really, you were speaking how you came from multiple states away. Yeah. Um, what I thought, what I thought was so amazing about that It was, was it kind of, I have to say this, 
I have to say this because I don't know if you, I don't know if everybody tuned into the entire live stream. And like I said, um, I'm doing a documentary as well, but I don't know if everybody tuned into the entire live stream, but I will have to emphasize that Desmond was there with us. There were so many coincidences that were happening that just, that was screaming, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Like when we, when we went to go, um, there was a one point where we went to go talk, uh, or we went to do a moment of silence, and there was a song playing in the background, and in the song it said, we were doing our moment of silence, that I'm, I'm drowning, I'm dying, or something like that, and we all just lost our mind, because like, right as soon as I said, guys, can we have a moment of silence for Desmond, 30 seconds, as soon as everybody, we, we counted down from five, and then once I got to one, everybody qu went quiet, and like probably two seconds in, the song said, I'm drowning, I'm dying. And we were like, oh my God. And we all just like, we just lost it. And I immediately was like, yo, I think that's his way of saying like, you know, F this moment of silence. We need to, we need to, we need to chant something, you know. He didn't, he wouldn't want us to have no moment of silence like that. I feel like he wouldn't want us to be sad and like quiet. So there was other coincidences as well where it's we were all just sitting around um i think we, what were we doing guys I, i'm yeah. here with um a couple of the joy con boys now what were we doing at that other moment when the light from the yeah. ferris wheel cut oh, on the light. We, we all put our fists up together oh yeah. yeah we put our hands together in a circle <laughs> to go ahead and do a um what is that called where we where you kind of have like a huddle, a huddle. Yeah. We, yeah. we huddled and we all put our fists in a circle for like to to remember excuse me to remember desmond and then mm -hmm. As we were chanting Joy-Con Boys, we did it for the first time, and the minute we did, the light on the on the parachute jump uh, turned on, and it lit up, and we were just like, oh my God, that, that's it lit crazy. Red and, blue. and it lit red and blue, and that's the color of the Joy-Cons as well. So we were just like, this is too many coincidences happening back to back to back. It just, I know he was there with us, and I'm glad that she live streamed it, but I encourage you guys, definitely check out her live stream watch the entire thing um, because it was a live event obviously it's not going to have all of the highlights like right there and like in your face and like you know you're not going to be able to really be extremely entertained like really quickly but you would have to have the patience to sit through and watch it and it's, it's it was amazing i'm glad that she live streamed it because there's a lot of people that couldn't be there i just wasn't one of those people that was willing to be on the other side of that camera so i took all the rest of the money i had to make sure that i could get up here and I didn't even have a place to stay uh, when I got here, but one of the Joy-Con girls ended up providing us with a place to stay for the night. So everything just worked so well, and it's, I just, I can't believe that it worked out that well. So I wanna say like, thank you to Christine for live streaming it. And um, I'm, I'm sure all of the fans out there are also very thankful to her as well. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's not, I only have a couple more questions to let you go, okay. um, but um, it, 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 I was talking to an editor about it, and I was like, you know, I really wanna give um, Attica, his, his, I want to give him his due. I think people are really, I think you need to focus on the, his death and then nothing else. Right. Uh, but I think his story is continuing with the community, and I, and I really want to tell that, tell that story. And I brought up the fact that um, it was going to be live streamed. And it was interesting because my editor, who's much older, right. like, couldn't get it. Like, for him, it was like, well, like, why are they turning it into content? And I'm like, well, it's not. I was no. like, this is, reminds me of when little people. Died and his memorial was live streamed. Yeah. And I was like, just, just like, as he was just, this is Etika. Like, Etika's dream. Like, that yeah. was the thing. And it, his fans are everywhere. Like, did that, did that just feel like a natural thing, too? Where it was like, his, uh, so many of his fans could not be at uh, Actually Island. To be so honest with like, you, it was not, it was a no brainer. There was no second thoughts about it. Everyone knew immediately, like he would. This would this would be what he would want. Stream it. He would want everybody that couldn't be there to be there because he he wanted to be with us all the time. He wanted to hang with us online all the time, and he knew he couldn't hang with us in person. So he would cut on his camera, go live, and interact with us and talk to us live on live stream. He wasn't as as anybody knows. He wasn't an upload type of guy. So he wanted that interaction, and and we didn't want the the fans to, to miss out. And Christine didn't want everybody to miss out. She wanted to make sure that those who couldn't make it out would be able to make it out. Cause Edgar is such a, a easy going uh, guy. He really didn't, he didn't really care much about things like uh, 
mannerisms and whatnot. He, he was more the type of person that's just raw, straightforward, and real, and make sure that he included everybody in whatever was going on. So I think that that's the reason why Christine decided to live stream it and, and, um, and to film it. Yeah. And it's not to turn it into content per se, it's just to, to right. immortalize him because this needs to be remembered. He need, it needs, we need the world to see what he meant to us. People are sharing their thoughts of him to, and how he impacted their lives. And, and I think that there's no other way to get that out there unless it's filmed. I mean, unless you're gonna travel state by state to ask people, hey, what did you know about um, Etika or how do you feel about Etika? You know, that would be that would be almost impossible to do. But somebody could yeah. easily just look online, like what did everyone think about Etika? And then boom, you have the memorial where, you know, this, this beautiful event of everybody sharing their thoughts. So that's what I think about the live stream. And I think that it was a great idea and I really appreciate the fact that Christine did that. I, yeah, I, I agree. Um, and last question for you, Pooja. And uh, thank you again for talking to me and um, safe travels mm -hmm. later today, of course. Of course. Um, how would you like, uh, this is a hard question, because I think there's a group of people that mainstream live, not, not part of joy cons, not even part of YouTube, yeah. who will remember Attic as this event, as this thing. Yeah. How would you, how do you want people to remember Attica? What do you want them to be remembered for? I want Attica to be remembered for the person who didn't go with the grain, he went against the grain, and he stood out. You could put him in a crowd of everyone else, he stood out. I have to say that he was probably one of the greatest YouTubers. If mainstream was not mainstream, it would be Attica. He was the rawest, most realest person that there was, and he could connect to you. He could connect to you within seconds upon you seeing him or meeting him, and everybody felt like they knew him, and he felt he made it. You feel like he knew you upon just moments of him chatting with you. So I think that um, those in the mainstream who are only going to remember him for this event try to um, look a little bit into it and check out some of his stuff. I know that his channel is not currently um, available, but we've got a petition on change.org for YouTube to hopefully bring back and restore his channel so we can have all of those memories um, back in all of those videos. So that's what, uh, that's what I have to say to them. And I want to say thank you as well to you for um, chatting with me as well. No, of course, thank you for chatting me. Uh, a, I'm going to try to do right by someone um, I really want yeah, to be I really hope so. Uh, so thank you yeah. so much for talking to me. And again, um, hope everyone over there is holding up okay and doing well. I'm glad you're all together and, and safe travels. Thank you so much. You have a good one. You too. Later. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. I thought she was going to ask harder questions, like stuff that was going to make me emotional, so I'm glad that she didn't ask. She got straight to the point. Yeah, she really did get straight to the point. And um, she gave me a chance, though, at the end to kind of like, those of you that aren't even going to remember him for anything else, you know what I'm saying? She gave me a chance to like address them like directly, so I think that that's, I'm glad she did that, you know, because she's right, there are people that are only going to remember him for this negative situation, yeah. but... There's so much positivity surrounding it was a lot more than that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. So, but it just goes to show, like, all the positive that you do can be negated by one negative thing. Right. And I don't want that for him because he's made such a positive impact on one person, on uh, so many other people. I don't want him to be remembered for his death. I want him to be remembered for his life and right. my husband's life. Okay. Well, that was the phone call, guys. You got to see it firsthand, what exactly, um, what happened on our end of things. Hopefully the audio quality wasn't too bad, um, but I'll have this all chopped up and edited together so that way you guys can, uh, can do it. All right, so you were the guy yesterday that was twirling the, uh, the glow sticks and dancing, and you brought the, the giant boom box, right? Hell yeah, the freaking future steps going yeah. in. I yeah. release that, you know. It's been all for good vibes and stuff for everybody who showed up. Yeah, man. What's your name? My name's um, Wally Small. Wally Small? They call me Wally West. Okay, okay. And uh, Speed. Right. Other than that, um, uh, it's been like a, a, a wild ride for this whole week and whatnot. And yeah. I had a lot of good memories with, um, with Desmond. Yeah. And my favorite one so far is 
when basically me telling him all my pun jokes and stuff like I would I would see him here all the time like mm -hmm. him and Christine and like we used to all chill all the time like it was so fun um, he would go to like Nathan's and I would meet up with him and I would tell him a corny ass joke and I would dip right after him. <laughs> and and the, the expression on his face is like the expression he always gives like when he's streaming and it just kills me every time I see that. And I'm like, I would laugh so bad. Like it's even times where like I try to tell a joke or I'm about to say it and he was, he's already serious and I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh shit! And Christine's like he hates puns, and I'm like, damn it, I can't help myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how'd you uh, how'd you guys meet? Uh, actually, I met Desmond a uh, while back. You know, when he did, I, I think when he was just starting up his YouTube, yeah, like Pokemon and stuff. I think he was streaming for like Game Boy or whatever. No, not Game Boy, but like DS. handheld console. Yeah, the Nintendo DS or 3DS. Yeah. And um, I think it was a 3DS. <laughs> right. Was a 3DS. Yeah. Around that time, uh, Chris, I met, I've been new Christine. I've seen her a few times because I'm an Assassin's Creed fan. And so is Desmond uh, Miles. Nah. Uh, <laughs> so is Desmond, and we all linked up one day at the library over here in Coney Island, and you know we we spoke about certain stuff, and um, I thought they were cool people. I thought he looked like Will Smith. And, like, <laughs> everyone said. Yeah, everybody that. says that about him. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, oh look. It's a little Smith counterpart. I'm like, yes, yes, he actually does look like. Yeah. Nah, but and he's um, about almost as charismatic as well. Probably more charismatic for real. Yo, when right? he started speaking, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, are you voice acting right now? <laughs> Will Smith had a voice actor all along. Yeah, right. Like. <laughs> so, um, is there anything that you want to say to Desmond or to all the Joy-Con boys? So all the Joy-Con boys want to say thank you for doing this because I never actually thought anyone would come out and actually go as hard as you guys and support yeah. Desmond and his tribute and all that. And right. it's, it's been a really tough, tough, tough week for me hearing about what happened. And you guys brought like me up, like you brought my spirits back up and you yeah. made me want to start my YouTube channel again. Yeah. Um, well that's good man, you should definitely start it up. What would it be called if you did? gonna be called Shadow Strike 777. Okay. And that, that that's what I started with at first, but if you can if y'all can in the future you can subscribe to Shadow Strike. Yeah. 777. Guys make sure you do that. And yeah. also um what's your social media? Huh? What's your social media? What's your uh, Instagram or you know I, I think you don't remember it actually. You I tried to get it from you earlier. I'll I'll throw it in there for yeah. sure. Do you have a Twitter? Thank you. Uh, Twitter, not yet. Okay. I'll get down to that. Yeah, um, you might want to do that, man. My Facebook is just Wally Small. I have a lot of content on Facebook as well. Okay. I do random. It's fine. Get away from that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, one one last question. I was asked this by um, by a, in an interview um, by The Verge. Yeah. And they asked me this, and I wanted to see what other people thought as well. What do you think about um, it being live streamed? Or like you know the whole the whole event and the memorial and whatnot. The live stream. Yeah. I thought it was a brilliant idea to be honest. Yeah. I me thought too. it gave all the fans and people who follow Desmond a chance to actually speak their voice and, and actually you know be there in person. Yeah. But not in person. At the yeah. Time. Exactly. So it's like it was like when I saw the group of people that was there, it wasn't like as if it was just them. It was everyone else that was right. online. So. And the thing that I had said is that. He was a raw guy. Like he, he put his whole life out there for the world. He live streamed the police coming to his house, break, Word. breaking his door down. He, he was swatted. Yeah, he put his he he put his address out there. He put his phone number out there. Yeah. Come on, the guy, you know, he put everything out there. And then on top of that, we were signing for the fans. Like the fans were so grateful that, you know, that we could put their name on the tribute. And yeah. you know, it's all there now. So. Christine got it and she uh, went home with Bombay and like you know. I was with him the night after he was swatted. Really? Me and a few friends. What do out. you? What do you? What, what did he say to you about that? Did he, he, he did you told, talk about it? He was a little upset, but then he thought it was funny at the same time. So it was like, because he realized that other people were getting swatted too out of nowhere. So oh wow! He was like, oh, this actually happened to me, and I was like, who could it actually be then? Because we were leaving like Taco Bell, and next thing you know, it they were like. 
I think it was a time where there was police cars next to the Taco Bell, and he got a little paranoid. He thought he got swatted again. Oh man! We were at Taco Bell. He was starting to feel uncomfortable. That's crazy. Yeah, and, and it was like I was like, "Don't worry, dude. It's like it's not that serious anymore." So yeah. so ever since then, it's he hasn't been swatted since. Thank God. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear from you, man, and thank you for sharing um, your your memories and whatnot with us. I mean, otherwise we'd have never heard this, you know. And yeah. this is honestly gonna make the documentary so much better. So I just want to tell you one last thing. He really do appreciate everyone. Like I've seen him so depressed. I've seen him at his chair without streaming it. When before he starts, he does yeah. a little, you know, like he gets ready and pumped before he do it, and then he's like, "Yo, I'm really gonna do this." Like, and every time I see him do that, like when I'm over, we chilling and stuff, having Twizzlers, a drink and stuff. He 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 gets so focused because he wants to make sure everything goes great for everyone. Yeah, and he wants to keep everyone satisfied. He really cared. You could tell he put a lot of care and, and, and heart into his streams. And you know, I mean, we all have our moments where we get really down and stuff like that. But, yeah, but yeah. I just wanted to uh, again say thanks for definitely sharing this insight with us. We would not have heard it otherwise. Wakanda forever, Joycon boys forever. No snitch niggas, no bitch niggas, no twitch niggas, no fake switch niggas. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Take care, man. Thanks. Goodbye, Coney Island. It's been a pleasure. Oh, the unboxing! Hell of a brother. I don't need it, man. It's already up on my channel. Just going to the big space. I love this fucking I just want to say to the person that bought Desmond a copy of Super Mario Maker 2 and left it there, you are amazing and you are wonderful. And we know that somebody's going to probably end up taking that or whatever and you knew that as well when you left it there but I just gotta say that is so amazing he didn't even re miss the release date he didn't miss the release of the game and I just say you're a beautiful person for that and you guys got anything y'all wanna say? Thank you for that man. Yeah. That was real. Yeah that definitely was. We saw it on the Reddit I was just like oh my god I can't believe that. So I believe we're going to the Nintendo store now for the first time in our life they're our tour guides and uh <laughs> And we're gonna we're so buy. Lucky to have you guys. I know. <laughs> and we're gonna buy a copy of Super Mario Maker 2 on camera with you guys. So I guess we'll see you guys when we get there. And we're also gonna see Times Square. Yes. But it's a shame they said because I can't see it at nighttime. So that kind of like. It's, like, it's a little experience when you see it at night because of how it's like, all like lit up and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I will be back for sure. Until next time. Until next time. You said that you think that I'm his twin flame. Twin flame. So like you being here is like almost equivalent to him physically being here. He's here spiritually, like he's living this shit for you. It's important for you to see that documentary. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really glad that I got the, the, the ability and the chance to come out here and do this. I just got a 512 gigabyte SD card and then it happened. Like. She said, oh, yo, I just got it. I wasn't even expecting this. I just got it, like, literally three days before she said that the, that she was holding a memorial. Yeah. And the next thing you know, I come out here, and I have, like, 10 hours of footage recorded from this whole thing. I only have 19 minutes left of film. Honestly, yeah. yeah it was, it was, I feel like his, his, uh, his demise would have been in vain had you not been up here. Honestly, appreciate that. It would have been in vain had you not made it up here. I really appreciate that. I really, I feel like that as well because Christine wouldn't have gotten to um, like put her message out as well either. And I wanted everything to be clear, not just filmed up and down. And I wanted a cameraman actually up on them, making yeah. sure that like you can hear what they're saying. Because I, I watched the stream back and you couldn't really hear too well what was being said. You know what I mean? So I'm really glad I got the ability to come film it. And I want to thank everybody for giving me the blessing of being the person that was the cameraman for everyone. And I'm going to put my heart and soul into editing this. So I hope that you guys enjoy what I, what I come up with. You said what? Every time you slide your Joy-Con or you switch, if you hear the clip, he's there. When you boot up Super Smash from his ultimate, he's there. The Ridley shit is living proof. Yo, we got that on film. You've seen it. Yeah. She told me she thinks he's my guardian angel. He is your guardian angel, man. He I'm is. 
I'm letting you know that right now. Remember when remember when the kids jumped over the uh the bush and they were like Joy Con boys? Yes. And they they had to follow suite. They could they couldn't not take part in it because this is something that's bigger than all of us. He it's was big they, than all of us. they he really was a god. They realized they, we're all gods. We're all gods. Like every single one of us are gods. Yeah. And people just didn't understand that. But it's, it's sad that that had to be it had it had to take him to do to go so through that to show, to us, show us, yeah. Exactly yeah, it's crazy. Get there, yeah. How far it's is close. it up? It's right there. It's coming up? Yep. That's the water right there. I hope his memorial is still here. It has to be. There's no real Guys, this is the bridge. Them. We're on the Manhattan Bridge right now. We're on a train. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time before my bus takes me home to be able to go physically there. But I'm filming what I what we can see. And um, hopefully his memorial is there and everything's still intact. People should keep it this memorial this up. Side, right? It was on this side? It had to have been. Yeah, there it is. I where, see it. Where, where, I where? see it. Yeah, look, look. There's people, there's there. Joy-Con boys there, yeah. look. Wait, is that Wesley? Wow. That can't be Wesley. Wow. That is Wesley. And that's people Joseph. are still out there. We, this has been, this is, this those, is days. Those are his cousins. I was in high school with. His cousins are out there? Yeah, that's what I'm meeting like later on this afternoon. That's crazy. I told you that we was going to see it. Yo, yeah, it was meant to be, man. This is bigger than everybody, man. This is just coincidence, guys. What is the coincidence of this happening on my train? Okay. <laughs> what are the coincidences of this happening at this time? He's here, bro. He's with us, bro. I'm telling you, he's not dead, bro. He's immortalized. He's not. This is crazy, man. <laughs> Welcome to New York. You say that shit on the regular. But no, this what are the chances of him getting on with us? We're about to get off next stop. He getting on with us. He just got he just got on and started singing that song immediately right after our memorial. That's crazy. Thank you. The minute we passed Etika's memorial, and that's exactly what happened? He came on and the dude on comes on the next stop and sings, You Are Not Alone. Bro, this is crazy, bro. We I just, just can't. We just looked at each it's other making me think, like, like yo, what if he did something that made like, it? It's making all of this happen around us. I don't know what it is, but I, maybe it's what you were saying about him. You said he's a guardian angel. I don't know, that might be. Yo! <laughs> Yo! That's crazy, man. I love you, Attica, man. It's still going for crying out loud. <laughs> what the fuck? God. You're so tall. I feel like an ultra midget. Yo! You're you're already like a midget, and then now this is mixed. <laughs> oh boy, God, it's we got we got the vlog within the vlog. We got the vlog section. Oh the vlog section. Yeah. <laughs> Behold the wild macarter compared to these buildings. <laughs> the pride flags. Aren't they beautiful? 
Yes, they're so beautiful. I'm so happy that they have something like this. I'm so glad we're able to be here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head to the Nintendo store. Yeah, we have to the store. Nintendo store. Go in here, get us a nice little, nice little roundabout. Thank you, love. <laughs> Finally here in person for the first time ever. Nice catch. Good catch. That was a wonderful catch. I told you that was messed up. Little thing. You don't have to lie. All the games and all the games over here, guys. Okay, good? Yeah. Here. She wanna take us upstairs. You got Cod Ninja, Mikado, you got Suki, you got the legendary M14. We're all legendary, we all guys. We got Super Mario Maker 2 We're here in the Nintendo store. We're gonna go upstairs and check it out and whatnot. Sorry if my camera work is messed up right now. I'm working on like three days no sleep here and like extremely tired and whatnot. 30 pound backpack on so Forgive me if I look a little rough and I'm having some pretty bad camera work. We don't have time, man. They're just taking photos, right? They're playing Mario Maker. This is so cool. Once again, thank you to everyone who came out to celebrate the launch of Super Mario Maker 2. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. You can do better than that. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah! Okay, so we have about 10 minutes left in our event, so we just kindly ask you to... I just blew my vocal cord out again. And head over to our giveaway station so you can your giveaway. Thanks again, guys, so much. Outside we go. The legendary spot where the line took place with C and D, Triforce, Etika. That's the legendary spot. Next time we're here, we're gonna go Look. do the second reading thing. That would be dope. Look, that's the legendary spot where the line took place with C and D, Triforce, and Etika. Oh, okay. That's crazy, right? All right, let's get let's get some photos. like love and passion and courage mm -hmm. that that Desmond had or that I have for Desmond and then I bought a blue candle that symbolized forgiveness right. and it, when I first started burning it the forgiveness candle was very dim and I was kind of like worried I was like do you uh, I, I started like asking Desmond like do you feel like I'm not that I, I, I don't exactly understand do you feel like I don't forgive you and I'm telling you right now that can't the, the, the light the flame is now like it's not dead, that's for sure. Like, it's okay now. <laughs> it burned brighter, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's much brighter now. That is wild. Maybe that. Maybe maybe it wasn't a forgiveness candle for him to forgive you. Maybe it was for you to forgive yourself because he already forgave you for whatever yeah. you might think that he even needed to forgive you for. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know why you thought that to begin with, but it's none of my business and I don't care to find out. Well, I do care, but I don't want to find out because I feel like that's super intrusive. But what I will say is maybe it's because you forgave yourself that he was able to feel at peace and now the candle is burning as bright as it should. Yeah. I think that might be the case. Who knows? What do you think? I think that might be the case too. I mean, I didn't do anything to him. I, I mean, maybe it's more like because I finally forgave him because I was really, really mm. confused, mm -hmm. or maybe I forgave myself for having any regrets. Well, I, what I was trying to say is that you forgave something, not him doing the okay. forgiving. That's what I was really trying to say. But that uh, might be yeah. it, and I do believe that. that. Might be it, yeah, this I believe. Is, I, no, what you said it this makes is so sense beautiful. Too, and I totally agree. Uh, either way, I'm really happy that this candle is now burning and I, <laughs> I honestly oh, I want to say to you um, keep in mind you know don't let anybody pressure you to to like not continue your life and 
continue with yeah. uh your you know your future relationships like i know desmond was your soulmate but this the, just because that was your soulmate doesn't mean that this is the end of the road for you and you're not allowed to date yeah. anyone anymore or anything like that so i want to just tell yeah. you from me to you and just you know straight up don't let anybody any of these fucking losers online try to tell you hey like you, I can't believe you're dating someone. Da, da, da. If anything, just keep it to yourself for for a time. I know it's going to take a mm -hmm. little while, however long it is. Everybody mourns differently. Everybody gets over things differently and at different speeds and times. But when you're ready, just do your thing. And I honestly believe that's what he would want. And he told you. That's why I said, don't forget. Remember, he was happy yeah. for you because you were dating someone else or talking to someone about to date them. So don't yeah. fucking forget that. And don't let this like hinder you from future relationships because when my mom lost my dad she literally let the family of my dad guilt trip her into thinking that she's never allowed to be with anyone else again and oh, for wow. the longest time she didn't she was single solo struggling with us and stuff like that and then she finally, after I, I, I was telling her as a kid too, like, mom, get a, go ahead, date. What's going to make you, whatever's going to make you happy. Don't let anybody tell you anything. If anything, just cut them off. Then if they're telling you that, don't, they're, they're not healthy for you. And she eventually did. And her life changed and she got better. And, you know, and she, she felt as if yeah. like, if she did that, she wouldn't be able to forgive herself or she was betraying my dad. But I don't want you to think that and. I want to pass that on to you, and I also want you to remember the words of of him, of of, of Desmond. You know, he, yeah. he told you. Like, I don't know exactly word for word what he told you, but you know that you know what he told you. And don't let nobody online fucking try to. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I I do believe in maybe multiple soulmates, or yeah, I believe or that too. Like that. Yeah, honestly, yeah. this is what. Okay, so I got a reading right when I got to New York. I got a reading. Oh, nice. It was it was told to me that Etika was my twin flame, but not. Uh, they I told her I was like, dude, I was like, no, you're wrong. I'm not gay. I'm not bi. You must be mistaken. And she was like, no, you can have a twin flame that's a friend, or someone dear to you. And I was like, what? Yeah. And I was blown away by that. But it was told to me that he was my twin flame. And then the Joy-Con boys were telling me the same thing. And I was just like, what? And then you said it to me, too. Like, he's with you. I have to say, and I, was I like, totally agree when yeah. it comes to that. So, because but, you but this is just like him. And you were, like, explaining everything. That is... That is like, I, and that's probably why I felt so comfortable with you. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, that, yeah. that's also what I was saying to you. I was like, yo, like, I related to him in so many ways. Like, we were similar, you know, but mm -hmm. this is not the point that I, that's this that we're talking about right now is not the point that I was making. The point I'm making is that, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. we do have multiple soulmates and we do uh, can possibly have multiple twin flames. So I don't mm -hmm. want you to think that this is the end of the road for you. And I want you to really, yeah. really, really know, like, don't just end your end your 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 life because of this happening and don't end your future with other people because of this happening i, I believe honestly he would want yeah. you to be happy and if he was planning this like he's like you said for such a long time then obviously he was not planning for you to suffer because he kept checking in on you kept making sure you were all right kept kept pushing you to be healthy feeling better kept trying to make you eat potassium and magnesium and make your depression go away he was trying to tie up his loose ends and make sure you were gonna be good and i believe that and i think that you know i hope i hope that you don't overlook that because i know it's easy to yeah. be drowned by mourning and i know it's easy to be drowned by all of these feelings of i wish i did this and i wish this and that i don't think that's the case i don't think no one could have did anything even though I myself have those same thoughts, like, like I, I honestly had a dream about about Desmond um, after after his breakdown with the whole cop thing and everything. It was probably about three days later. I dreamed that I was with him and that.